Shabbat Shalom. Yeah, so this is how this works. Uh, if you know Hebrew, awesome. If you don't know Hebrew, also awesome. This is, when, when someone says Shabbat Shalom, you say Shabbat Shalom back, it goes like that, Shabbat Shalom. Yeah, but that was a very limited Shabbat Shalominess. So let's try this again. Everyone on my right side, let's bring the heat, ready? Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. takes hold of her Jewishness as she becomes a Jewish adult, which on a scale from one to 10, how excited are you? 10, that wasn't gonna, wasn't gonna let you say nine, seven, six, eight, five, four. No, it has to be a 10, it has to be a 10. So this, uh, this is not a performance. This is not uh, a, uh, a concert of sorts. This is a participatory moment for each of us. So we would love for you to grab a hold from underneath your seats are two books. One is a Chumash, that is a Torah. We don't need that one quite yet. We need the smaller of the two. It'll look just like this. It's called Mishkan Tefillah. We will be calling out page numbers. She will be leading us in prayer as we uh, dive deep into this sacred space of Temple Judea. And we have a fantastic photographer, two photographers and a videographer in the back to capture all of the sweet moments. So your cell phones can stay on your laps. Uh, just make sure they are muted so we don't have any of those rings. And finally, if you are as excited as I am, and if you can't tell, I'm pretty excited, do me a favor and say Shabbat Shalom really loud, but look at Sophia. Make it awkward. Ready? One, two, three and you always say that. Good, we'll get there, we'll get there. Uh, please join us with Cantor Siegel leading us in an opening song, an opening prayer as we welcome uh, each other to the holiness of this moment and day. And we begin with a piece, a nigum, which is a wordless melody in the hopes that you will join in with us. Celebrating Sophia's big day. Yalla la, yalla la, yalla la la la. Yalla la, yalla la, yalla la. Yalla la, yalla la, yalla la la la. Yalla la, yalla la, yalla la la. Next part. Bat mitzvah official, we need to give Sophia your talit. And in order to present your talit, we would like to invite up mom and dad to help you uh, with this first moment of connection and of transformation.
Our hearts are one on this joyous this day, day as you, you commit, commit yourself to a life of Torah, of Torah a life, life we pray filled, filled with wisdom, caring, and right action. action. We pray that you will grow each day in compassion for the needy, in concern for the stranger, in love of all people. May the one who blessed our ancestors, Abraham and Sarah, Isaac and Rebecca, Jacob and Rachel, and Leah, bless you on your becoming a bat mitzvah. May you grow with strength and courage, with vision and sensitivity, and may you always be certain of our love. Amen. Baruch HaTah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Kichanu B'Mitzvotav, V'Tivanu Lehi Tatef Batsiti. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, who allows us with mitzvot, commanding us to wrap ourselves in the fringes. Amen, amen. To represent this moment, we say the words of the Shehechianu, uh, as we thank God for this moment in time of gathering, of family, and friendship. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shehechianu v'kimanu v'higianu Lazman Hazeh If you know, you can sing with me. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shehechianu v'kimanu v'higianu Lazman Hazen Ah 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 Our service continues responsibly on page 338 with the Ashray. Ashray Yoshve Vetaha. Ode hallelujah, Sela. Ashayam shekahalo, Ashayam shadonai eloham. Tehila le David, Aramim ha elohai ha mele, Vavar harshim ha leolam vaer. Behol yoma vadeteka, Valela shim ha leolam vaer. Gado adonai im halad meor, Belik dulato in her care. Dole dori shabach maseha, uburo te haya gidu. Hadar ke voro deha, vidi re ni floteha asiha. Bezos no te hayo meru, ungula te ha asa prena. Seher of tu haya biu, visit kat ha yeraninu. Han umber rahumadonai, ere ha pai mudal hased. Tov Adonai Lako, Vrahama Valko Masav. Yoduha Adonai Kol Maseha, Vahasideha Yevarehuha. Kevod Mahut Hayomeru, Ugeverad Hayeda Beru. Leho di Alif Nehadam Gurota, Upodadar Malhuto. Mahut Hamahu Kololamim, Umem Shateha Behodor Vador. So mecha donai lechol hanoflihim, bezokef lechol akefufihim. Eneho eleha yesaberu, veata no tin lahem et ochlam beito. Otea het yadecha, umatsuya lechol hai ratzon. Tzadik adonai behoder ahav, veasir baho masav. Karoba donai lechol korav, lechol asher ikrau vemet. Ritzon yere aviase, Ve'et Shabbat HaMishma V'yoshiem. Shomer Adonai et kolo abab, ve'et kol arreshaim yashmihid. Tehila Adonai et aberpi, v'varet kol basar shem kocho le'olam va'er. Ba'anachnu le'varekia, me'ata ve'ad olam. Hallelujah. Feeling good? Yeah. 
I'd like to invite up all of Sophia's friends who have either been preparing for a bar bat mitzvah or who have just recently had a bar bat mitzvah to come forward and help lead us in our Amidah. But do not come empty handed. Pretend you have been paying attention and following along in a Sidur. So you're going to want to open up your Sidur to page 344 and then come up. So if that is you, if you've been going to school, preparing for bar bat mitzvah, or have just had one, please come forward. No one is going to watch your mouth move because you're facing the ark. So no one will actually know. There you go. Look at you. Now we're coming up. Yes. Hager leading the way. Come gather around, come gather around. Come gather around, come gather around. We all rise. We all rise. Ufia gita hilatecha Adonai That my mouth may declare your praise. Ufata Adonai Eloheinu Eloheinu To invite up for our first arc opening. We'd like to invite up for our first arc opening. We'd like to invite up for our first arc opening Honorable Bronwyn Miller, Renee Lopez Cantera, Jennifer Price, Honorable Vivienne Del Rio, and Martha Valdez Fuali. Please remain standing. Ah! 
dear, a 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 Page 353. For the good in us, which calls us to better life, we give thanks. For the strength to improve the world, with our hearts and hands, we give praise. For the peace in us, which leads us to work for peace, we are grateful. For the gift of Shabbat, which renews us for life, we offer blessing. Baruch Adonai, Mekadesh HaShabbat. Amen. Beautiful. Uh, would you like to invite up your sister for a special English reading? That's a yes. Yes. Yes! <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> ready? Right here, right here. Okay, so then we'll do the Hebrew version. What part? This part here we talked about, and then you're just going to have to do the Hebrew. On this holy Shabbat, we may draw nearer to life, to peace, and to joy. May we find true rest, holiness in our deeds, worth in our study of Torah. Let us feed on the love of godness, goodness. Let us drink from the love of goodness, restrain our thirst for excess, and cleanse our hearts to serve life well. On this holy Shabbat, may we draw near in life, in peace. And enjoy. Baruch Ata Adonai Sheotcha Levadcha Baira Na Avod. Yeshakoach. Give some love, give some love. You can go be seated. You can go be seated. There is, there is this moment on Shabbat that we are afforded, and it's an opportunity to. Uh, thank God, thank our families, thank our community, thank our nation for all the gifts that we have. For example, one gift we might feel extremely connected to is air conditioning. Thank you for a roof over our heads, for food in our cupboards or in our bellies. These are all amazing things that we should say thank you for. But I want to hear from you. What are we particularly grateful for on this Shabbat? on this Shabbat that marks Sophia's Bat Mitzvah. So I want you to take a moment, think about something, because I'm gonna come around and I wanna hear some really good answers.
See my first hand in the back. Sir, gentlemen, one blessing that you feel on this Shabbat. Wine. Wine. The joy of celebration with good friends and good grapes. Thank you, Taylor. Amen, amen. For everyone who's not quite of that age, uh, what are some other blessings we feel on this Shabbat? Who's got one? What blessing do we have? Family, friends. Nature. Family, friends. What would be something that we feel that was a blessing for? One more time. Good health. Good health. The blessing of good health. Amen. Can we get a collective amen? amen. What's another thing we could be thankful for? I'll take Spectacular weather. Spectacular weather. Amen. How many of you went outside with really funky glasses on to watch the moon that went in front of the sun? That what? We did not. I see the head shake. No. I saw it. It was beautiful. Thank God for nature. What's another thing we can be thankful for on this Shabbat? Yes. Friendships. Amen. What else can we be thankful for on Shabbat? Autism? There's no wrong answer. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. So we flew here from New York and our flight was almost canceled. Uh, so we, we made it by the skin of our teeth. So we're just glad we're able to be here to celebrate with Sophia for being here with family and traveling a great distance. Amen, amen, amen. Very thankful to be here celebrating a special occasion with so many friends and family. And the best rabbi ever. One, 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 of, one, of, one of a few, for sure. Uh, but a blessing to, to be able to celebrate with family and friends in recognition of what it means to become a bat mitzvah. And finally, our bat mitzvah. What are you most grateful for on this Shabbat? Uh, that everyone can come and gather and celebrate the Torah and great parents. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. I couldn't have said it better myself. Amen. We must take real time to appreciate the blessings that we are afforded in our lives. Uh, when we fail to do that, we fail to recognize the power of Shabbat. Whether that Sabbath is on Friday to Saturday or your Sabbath is on Sunday, when we stop and fail to say thank you, we miss out on the blessings of this world. We will have opportunities throughout the remainder of this service to just reflect. Think about it. What are we grateful for? on Shabbat. We will have a moment of silent reflection and meditation as soon as Sophia comes back up, which is now, to share with us a poem that she wrote with a few friends on the meaning of peace. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um. God of all peace in this world, may you grant us and bless us with that privilege forever as peace can never be taken away from you. Again, may God bless your people of Israel forever to bring love and hope to your life and to cherish your thoughts and ideas for all of eternity. At all times, may peace save us. Every season in the moment, every day, always be filled with shalom. And everyone lives the rest of their lives with peace, and God shall give us protection against all evil. Amen, amen. We take a moment to pray silently.
Birkat Shalom, our prayers for peace. In the afternoon service in a synagogue, uh, there are a little bit fewer prayers than there are in a morning service, which means that we go straight into our Torah service, our Seder Kriyat Torah Le Shabbat, which you can find on page 362, which will begin us in this process. In order to remove the Torah from the ark, we would like to invite up We'd like to invite up Kristen, Olivia, and Lucina Sherman to help us with the ark opening and removing the Torah from the ark. Please rise. <clears throat> Shalom, 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 Shalom,
Israel, the Hidushato, Shema Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Echad Eloheinu, Gadol Adoneinu, Kahato Shemo, Gadol Adonai Yiti, Unaromema. Shemo Yahdav. This Torah has been passed down from generation to generation, spending the time from Har Sinai, from Mount Sinai, to Moshe Rabbeinu, to Joshua, to the elders, and finally to B'nai Yisrael. And so we now will pass this Torah, the door of a door. And while we would love to invite Mitchell Rubenstein to help pass this Torah, he's unable to be here. And so we hold this Torah and think of you and give you strength during this time. And now it is with great honor and joy to pass this from Todd to Danielle, and then finally to you. We come gather over here. We are gifts and we are blessings. We are history in song. We are hope and we are healing. We are learning to be strong. The door of a door.
seated. If you would like to take out the other book, it's going to be your Chumash, your Torah. You can put your Sidur away. We're going to be reading uh, from the Torah. For those of you who may not have experienced this before, the Torah has no vowels. In order to read and articulate words of Torah accurately, you have to know the words and to have studied them with great grit. And Sophia has. If you'd like to follow along, you can turn to page 752 in your Chumash. That is the thicker, larger of the blue books that are underneath your seat. Page 752. Before she reads Torah, she's going to share with us her words of Torah, or Devar Torah, meaning words that she has studied and learned and have prepared for you this evening. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Raise your hand if you've ever heard of Noah and the Flood. How many of you have ever heard of Moses and the Ten Plagues? Now how many of you have ever heard of the laws pertaining to gossip and the big right toe? That's what I thought. Almost no one. Parashah Metzorah, founded in the book of Leviticus, is dedicated to the teachings of Lashon Hara, speaking negatively about others or as most of us know it, gossiping. As I explore this challenging Torah portion with my rabbi, I have learned that it wasn't just the person who sinned by gossiping that became inflicted by the plague of Tzara, or some sort of scaly disease, but also their home. Why would their house come down with essentially mold? What did the house do? Or more importantly, what did the other inhabitants of the house do to deserve the plague of their dwelling? Possibly, if one person gossips in the house, then they too would be more likely to do that same sinful act. If a parent was gossiping to their spouse or friend, and a child heard this while playing next to them, they are learning that gossiping is acceptable. We know this is not true, even more so. There are two whole parashot dedicated to this teaching. Gossiping is an evil behavior that hurts more than it uplifts. There once was a story about a man who had the opportunity to meet with God. In that meeting, he asked, why do I have one mouth and two ears? God said, great question, but what do you mean? The man responded and said, if I had two mouths, I would be able to pray and eat at the same time. I would never have to stop praising you, Adonai, in order for me to consume food, stay strong and healthy. But because you only gave us one mouth, I have to pick when it's time to eat, when it's time to pray, when it's time to teach, and when it's time to learn. God thought about it for a moment and responded, I give every human one mouth now to praise, to request, and to pray. There is so much gossip in this world. If I had given everyone two mouths, there would be double the amount of Lashon Hara. The man understood and thanked God for a better understanding of the importance of safeguarding our words. We must think before we speak, a common phrase that is said in most homes, including mine. Our Torah portion gives great detail, not only to when a person sins, but how to clean the house that has been inflicted with Sarah. In order for the house to become clean again, the owner must approach the highest priest, or in today's world, the rabbi, and say, Knega nira libayit, thoroughly translated to, something like the plague appears to me is in this house. Here we have an example of someone coming clean. In their words, they have to admit their sin in front of the kahod gadol, the highest priest. Doing so is the first step in Teshuvah, representance. There is no real way to fix the hurtful speech that was shared. Some of us know the story of the pillow and the feathers. There was once a man who gossiped about another. He felt horrible and ran to his rabbi for advice. The advice he received was to take his pillow and run to the top of the largest mountain in his village. While at the top, he was instructed to cut open his pillow and to scatter his feathers. The wind picked up and spread the feathers all over the village and the neighboring towns. He ran back to his rabbi and confessed that this does not make him feel better. His rabbi acknowledged his pain and said, now go and gather all the feathers. The man seemed perplexed and knew this would be impossible. The rabbi read his face and said, I know this is impossible. One can't gather the feathers launched off a cliff, just like another one cannot take back the words he has shared with another. 
The rabbis teach us that the best form of representance is not to do Lashon Hara again. It can never really be taken back. My mitzvah project is to help raise money for an Israeli kid with Make-A-Wish. At the mitzvah fair, I set up a booth where I had a jar of a bunch of jelly beans for people to guess how many there were in the jar. That day, with the help of my Temple Judea community, I was able to raise $200 to help with a wish. My family has been incredibly involved with Make-A-Wish for almost nine years. This is not just a mitzvah project of mine. It's our family's lifelong project, seeing others in need and helping. We began our Amidah, the prayer that is centered, that is centered to our worship with these words, Adonai, open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. My Torah portion is not just about speaking badly about others. It's about how we use our words and our actions to honor those around us or those we know who are in need. Supporting Make-A-Wish is not only honoring my parents, sister, family, and Jewish community, but it is making a difference. We are going to be calling uh, a few of our uh, family and friends up today to receive an aliyah. That is uh, the blessing before reading of Torah, before and after reading of Torah. If I call your name and it is traditional to do so, please uh, wear a talit if you're comfortable doing so. There are extra talitot in the corner where you entered into this synagogue. Um, and if you hear your name, you'll come up to my right hand side. You'll take your talit touch and kiss the Torah with your talit, and then together with everyone around you, you'll say the blessing for reading of Torah. I'd like to invite up Marissa Beverly, Marsha Birthright, Renee Lopez Cantera, Honorable uh, Bronwyn Miller, Maury Udell, Miles Udell, and Reina Udell. Ya amdu dina ve anaf ve Rachel bat Raful ve Sarah ve Bracha ve Moshe ve Shimshon Lio ve Sharon Estel mekul le Aliyah Hatorah Harishona. Take your talit and you can uh, take the talit and kiss where the, where the yacht is. Now, come close. Here's the blessing. Hebrew, English. Ready? One, two, three. Baruch Adonai Hambarach Leolam Vahed. Baruch Adonai Hambarach Leolam Vahed Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Haamim Venantan Lanu Et Torato Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen Barabar Adonai El Moshe Lemor So Tihye Torah Hamet Torah Veyom Tarato, Veyuva El Hakohen, Veatsa Hakohen, El Mihut Lamahanen, Vera Hakohen, Vehine, Nifa Nega Hatsarar, Nid Hatsarua. Take your tally and you touch where the yacht is. One, two, three. 
Eloheinu melech olam, asher natan manu torat emet, v'chaye olam nata betochenu, baruch ata Adonai, noten ha-Torah. Amen. Give some hugs and loves and kisses to this one. For our second Aliyah, I'd like to invite up Danielle Gonzalez Rubenstein and Todd Rubenstein, proud mom and dad. Ya Amdu, Miriam Bat Avraham Besara, Vetuvia Ben, Mikul Aliyah Hatoraha, Shani. Baruch et Adonai HaMevorah Baruch Adonai HaMevorah Le'olam Ba'ed Baruch Adonai HaMevorah Le'olam Ba'ed Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bahar Banu Mikol HaAmim Ve'natan Lanu Et Torato Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen Betsy Ba Ha Kohen Velaka Lamita Her Stetsi Porim Hayo De Horo Ve Ez Eres Ushne Tolar Ve Ezov Betsy Ba Ha Kohen Veshahar Ed Hatsipor Hahaya Elkli Heresh Amaim Hain Ed Hatsipor Ahaya Ika Ota Ve Ed Ez Ha Eres Bet shnei hatolat, bet azov, bet aval otam, ve e hatsipor ha haya, bedam hatsipor ha shuta al amai ha haim. Araka ta'ad anoi, Eloheinu melech olam, asher natan lanu torat emet, bekeya olam nata b'teichinu, Araka ta'ad anoi, noten ha-Torah. Amen. Give some love, give some love. For our third and final aliyah, we'd like to call up our bat mitzvah, Sophia. Ta'amod alonya bat tuvya ve miriam le aliyah hatorah ha hazaka. Baruch Adonai Hamvarach. Baruch Adonai Hamvarach Le'olam Ba'ed. Baruch Adonai Hamvarach Le'olam Ba'ed. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam. Asher Bar Harbanu Miko Hamim. Benatan Lanu Et Torato. Baruch Atah Adonai Noten HaTorah. Amen. Vehizah Al Hamitaher. Min hatsara sheva beamim betiharo beshila et hatsipor ahaya alpene hasade behibes hamitaher et begadav vegila et kosiaro verahat bamaim betaher veahar yavo elamahanen veashav mihut le aholo shevat yamim Vehaya Bayom Hashviim Igala et Bosero Et Rosho Vet Zekano Ve et Gavor Enav Ve et Kosero Igalea Bamaim Betaher Baruch Hatadonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, 
Ashe Natana Nutara Eme Vehaye Olam Natabito Hinu Baru Hataru Nai no Tain Hatara. Amen. Give some more love to those two families over there. Beautiful job, beautiful job. We'd like to keep Todd up here for just a moment as he's going to lift Torah, but to help us dress the Torah. Oh. You're going to call upon these people, right? Wait, wait one second, John. Yes, sir. We'd like to invite up to help dress the Torah. Um, we'd like to invite up to help dress the Torah Vera Abril, Mar Marisa Beverly, Victoria Gonzalez, Sofia Lopez Cantera, Luciana Sherman, Olivia Sherman, Liam Udell, Miles Udell, Reina Udell, Javier Valdez Fauli, Rahul Valdez Fauli. Please rise. Please be seated. Every Torah portion has an accompanying book. And every, every Shabbat, we are told to read a section of Torah and a section of Haftarah, which comes from Nevi'im, or the Book of Prophets. So before Sophia reads our, her Haftarah, she'll give us a little bit about what her Haftarah portion is all about. My Haftarah comes from the book of the Second Kings, and it relates to the Torah portion because of the command to separate the Metzorah from the rest of the community. In doing this, we think they would be left alone. In this Haftarah, we learn that God never leaves those who are stricken with his leprous disease. In fact, God goes so far out of God's way that Adonai removed an enemy arm from their tent so that they, lepers, could go and have food, water, shelter, and even gold. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech haolam Asher barhar Bimbiim tovim Verasa velivrehem Hallelujah. 
הבוחר בתורה ובמשה עבדו ובישראל עמו ובנביאי האמת בצדק. ויהי כדבר איש האלוהים אל המלך למור שתיים שהורים ושקל ושא הסולט ושקל יהיה כעת מהר ושאר שומרון ויעם השניש את איש האלוהים ויאמר ויהנה אדוני עושה הרובות בשמיים האה היה קרבר הזה ויאמר כי היורך ועיניך ומשם לא צוהם ברוך אתה ארונה אלוהינו מלך העולם צור כל העולמים צדיק בכל דרורות האל הנאמן העומד ועושה המדבר ומקיים שכל דרעליו אמת בצדק על התורה ועל עבודתם ועל הנביאים ועל יום השלט הזה שנתת לנו ארוני אלוהינו לקדושה ולמנוחה לכבוד ותפארת עד כאן כל ארוני אלוהינו אנחנו מודים לם ומברכים אותך יתפלל שמך ופיקו חי תמיד לעולם ועד ברוך אתה אדוני מקדש השבת Yeah, that's, um, I have two daughters, eight and six. I don't know when children, for all parents out there, and maybe children if you are listening, uh, teens included, uh, when the one word answers began. I said, Sophia, how do you feel? Good. I said, Sophia, are you having fun? And she said, yes. Sophia, you have rocked out your bat mitzvah and you've done so with incredible grace attention fortitude your torah portion that you read is not an easy torah portion it talks about things that i'd rather not get into in fact in most shabbats uh, throughout certain times of the year this is a double pasha tazria mitzara which are both very two very different and difficult torah portions to get through and we usually combine them so we can move on to other easier types of services but guess what not yours we're going to be reading almost the exact same thing again next week but guess who won't be reading torah next week Me? yeah okay That wasn't actually our secret handshake, but we're going to get there. We're going to get there. Uh, so yeah, I want to share something with you that um, I am most, most moved by. About uh, October 7th changed a lot of the world for us as Jews around the world. And I knew I needed to get to Israel. Do you know how I got to Israel? Uh, by a plane. Yes, by a plane. I got to Israel by a plane. I got to Israel by the gift of your parents. Helped me get to Israel. The gift that they give to this community, many of which I know, which won't be shared because they do it behind closed doors. They do it because they feel the importance of giving to community, giving back 
to individuals who they don't even know, but who are in need. What a cherished gift to have two remarkable, upstanding citizens to share a roof with. It doesn't mean being their daughter is easy, but it does mean there is a lot of light in that house. And there is a tremendous amount of light in this house because of what you are able to accomplish when you put your thoughts, when you put your heart and your focus into your goals. Pashat Tazria is really not meant for any bar bat mitzvah students to, to wrestle with. And you really showcase that you had strong knowledge of what it means to understand Lashon Hara, speaking negatively, making fun, belittling, which I know by virtue of your family, that this is something we just don't do. And by virtue of your community, that we don't participate in that. This is indeed a very special day. And we are all honored to have seen you and watch you grow. And as Rabbi Siegel said last night, you guys are den, ma, den, den, girl, what is it? They used to be Girl Scouts. You know how to tie a knot? Yeah. Oh, cool, me too. So you used to be a Girl Scout. You grew up and spent many, many years with Rabbi Siegel and her family. And I have loved watching uh, your family come together and grow in such beautiful ways. A huge mazel tov. May you continue to still wrestle, struggle, learn, and grow from our faith and our tradition. And on behalf of our community, I have a few gifts that I would like to share. First and foremost, just a few moments ago, you signed your bat mitzvah certificate, marking this incredible momentous day. We hope that you will keep this uh, as a uh, as a token of what of what all the accomplishments that you have uh, you, you have accomplished. Great sentence. And you have this book donated to you by the women of Temple Judea on the doorpost of your house. Inside of here are a plethora of prayers, things that you can go back to should you have questions. Of course, your rabbis are always, always here. And we pray. And we're going to take a moment to do some prayer. There are two gift certificates that we hope will get you a chance to go to Israel. But we recognize that we are in a difficult predicament. And so in honor of your bat mitzvah and of these two certificates for the URJ One Root and the Alexander Muss High School in Israel, we say a special prayer. Ribono shel olam kibel na berachamim uvratzon et tefilatenu be'ad medinat Yisrael, sovereign of the universe, accept in love and kindness with your favor our prayers of the state of Israel, her government and all who dwell within her boundaries and under her authority. Open our eyes and our hearts to the wonder of Israel and strengthen our faith in your power to work redemption in every human soul. Grant us also the fortitude to keep ever before us those ideals upon which the state of Israel was founded. Grant courage, wisdom, and strength to those entrusted with guiding Israel, destiny to do your will. Be with those on whose shoulders Israel's safety depends and defend them from all harm. Spread over Israel and all the world your shelter of peace. And may the vision of your prophets soon be fulfilled. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. Lo yisel goy el goy harev, lo yimeldu od milchama. As we say, amen, amen. And to further shower you with gifts, one of my very favorite museums. You ever been to the Jewish Museum of Florida, FIU? No. Guess you're going. With a one-year family museum membership through the generous support of the Jonathan Simons B'nai Mitzvah Project, we hope you will check it out. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous museum. Uh, and with all these gifts, really the greatest gift of all is that which you have given us. And finally, adorned on our wall right over here, we have a congratulations on your bat mitzvah, Sophia Gonzalez. We are so proud of you. Lots of, lots of love from mom, dad, and Victoria marking this special day with all these gifts and so much more, a huge mazel tov. Secret handshake.
love it. And now for some more gifts in the form of words, I'd like to invite up two very proud parents. Ladies and gentlemen, dearest family and friends, today is a day of immense joy and celebration as we come together to honor and rejoice in the bat mitzvah of our amazing daughter, Sophia. As we look upon her with admiration, we witness not only a ceremonial rite of passage, but a testament to the remarkable person she has become. My dearest Sophia, today marks a momentous occasion in your life, your bat mitzvah. As I stand here before you, my heart swells with pride and love, knowing the incredible young woman you have become. The ceremony is not just a tradition, it's a rite of passage, a symbol of your journey into adulthood, and a testament to your growth, strength, and character. From the moment you were born, you brought boundless joy and happiness into my life. Your laughter, your smile, and your curious spirit have filled our home with warmth and light. Watching you grow and mature over the years has been a privilege and a joy. From the earliest days of your life, it was evident that you possessed a curiosity and determination that set you apart. Your insatiable thirst for knowledge, paired with your innate wisdom, determination, and kindness, has been a source of inspiration to all who have had the privilege of knowing you. Today, as you stand on the precipice of adulthood, those qualities shine even brighter. In the tapestry of life, they say that wisdom is woven with threads of understanding and empathy. You, Sophia, has, have exemplified this wisdom in your actions and words. Your intelligence, paired with your compassionate heart, has touched the lives of those around you, leaving an indelible mark on our hearts. The Torah teaches us to seek knowledge and understanding, and it is clear that you have embraced this lesson wholeheartedly. You have also shown tremendous strength and resilience in overcoming obstacles along the way. You have faced challenges with courage and determination, never giving up and always striving to do your best. Your ability to overcome adversity is a testament to your strength of character and your unwavering spirit. As you stand here today, I can't help but think of your papa, whose determined spirit and passion for life you embody in so many ways. He would be so proud of the incredible young woman you have become. He would marvel at your strength, your kindness, and your unwavering spirit. He would be filled with joy to see you taking this important step into adulthood, knowing that you are destined for greatness. Your journey toward becoming a bat mitzvah is not merely a ritual, but a testament to the depth of your character. Your commitment to learning and your dedication to embodying the values of our faith have illuminated your path. You have worked hard to prepare for this day, studying, learning, and embracing the teachings of thousands of years. You have shown dedication, perseverance, and a deep respect for our heritage. And for that, we are incredibly proud. As you embark on this new chapter of your life, remember the lessons you have learned and the values you hold dear. As you take on the responsibilities that come with this milestone, we have no doubt that you will navigate the complexities of life with grace and resilience, and you un will undoubtedly impact the world in meaningful ways. Stay true to yourself, follow your dreams, and never forget the love and support of your family, friends, and community. May this day be just the beginning of a lifetime filled with joy, love, and fulfillment. May your future be filled with limitless opportunities to share your gifts with the world. Mazel tov, my dear Sophia. I love you more than words can express. <laughs> but she said, good night. <laughs> <laughs> so my speech is a little bit different. It's, of course, about Sophia. But it's, it's more about the family. Because everything we've done... We've done it as a family pretty much since day one. It's always about, I've been about togetherness. So what I'm going to do tonight is take us on a real quick journey because I know the kids want to get out of here. 
and go to the party. So I'm going to try to bust through this. So, but first off, I really, you know, we want to thank everyone for coming tonight um, to celebrate Sophia's bat mitzvah. It's a really special occasion, um, and and we're really happy that everybody could be here this evening, friends and family, and everybody out there on, on the internet. <laughs> All right. So the other night, we were here the other night, and it was interesting. We're sitting down and we're talking, and and Rabbi came up to us, and it was a group of people, but it was more specific to us, and. You know, he asked us, do you believe in God? You know, we all, we all probably pondered this every once in a while. Like, is there a God, life after death? You know, the, the philosophical things in life. And, and Sophia, what, what, what was your answer? Do you remember? It was a pretty good answer, actually. So let's pretend. So do you believe in God? Oh, I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> I, said, I said yes, because then why would there be, like, religions? Right. It was, it, was, it, was an interesting, it was an interesting answer. Victoria gave a different answer. I gave a different answer. Daniel gave a different answer. We all gave varying answers to, to the question. So what I want you guys to do for like about two seconds is to think about it. Sure, you know, probably necessarily you didn't think about it. We're in a house of worship. Yeah. Is there a God? I'm going to go around and ask everybody now. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but, but think about it. Um, I'll give you my answer. Uh, toward the end, or at the end of, of my little speech here. So it's really not a speech, it's more about a journey, a family journey. So after dating Danielle for a while, um, she felt like it was finally time to meet the kids. So do you remember what you said? First time when I met kids, what'd you say? I think I said, bring donuts. Bring donuts, that's right. <laughs> so she's like, if you bring donuts, they're gonna love you. So I'm like, hmm, all right. Like, first donut place I found, it wasn't Salty Donut or any of those fancy donut places. It was Dunkin' Donut. You're like, you know what? It's like, you know, first date, go to Starbucks. We did, that wasn't our first date, but like, <laughs> but um, you know what? I'll go to Dunkin' Donut. Brought in Dunkin' Donut, knocked on the door. They opened the door. I don't know if you remember this or not. It's just like, it's about six years ago. They even like say hi, like donuts, and they grabbed it and they took off. That was it, like right there. So like from right there, that was a good call, actually. That was, actually, that was pretty good. Bring donuts. So tip for everybody, bring donuts. <laughs> Um, so a after that donut night, um, the next major stop on our journey was proposing to Danielle, which was obviously later down the road. It wasn't the next <laughs> night. <laughs> Didn't need donuts for that. <laughs> um, we happened to be on a cruise. Now, if uh, it could have gone pretty bad for myself because we're in the middle of the ocean, and this was the first night. I didn't want to wait. I was like really excited. So the four of us were having dinner, we're sitting there, and it wasn't, you know, I didn't propose to Danielle. Again, it was about the family. So it was almost like as if I proposed to the family. It was to the girls and Danielle. We, you know, it was a really touching moment. Um, sorry. <laughs> I'll hurry up. <laughs> So we're engaged. It was a really cool moment. And then Victoria's like, I don't know if you remember this, oh, my mom just got engaged. Uh, she was telling everybody it was a really, it was really cool. It was a really cool moment. So now months later, well, probably a year later, uh, we, we made a pit stop in Sea Island in Georgia. It's one of our more favorite places to go visit. And, you know, we got married. And just as the engagement, it wasn't about, you know, we got married. It was, we all got married as a family. The four of us went and it was a beautiful week, and, and we got married. It was about the family. It wasn't about Danielle and I. Um, let's see. Where am I here? All right. Okay, here we go. All right, so the, re the reason why I bring up those few special moments and those memories about the family and the timeline is that a lot of times we forget to stay in the moment. We just let life go right by. You know, all these special moments, all these vacations, everything we do, like a special moment like this, you know, in this, this generation, the fast paced world, we're on our phones, everyone's like this 24 hours a day. We wake up, the first thing we do, we're on our phone, we're, everything's about the phone, you know, and TikTok, it's a TikTok world now, what's next, who knows? But it's all about staying in the moment. And, and I really feel that nowadays, you know, the lens we see through can be a complex one, but yet, within our family, and you and Victoria, you know, you, you, you do make it not as, actually you make it more complex. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you make it not as complex, you make it a happy lens, a nice lens. And I, and I can promise you that 
The memories I have of you growing up these past six years were not through a lens. They weren't through a camera. They were with my two eyes. Over here, see? Moment in the moment. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> party's going to party's gonna be soon. Um, all right. I was told to hurry up. All right, so each memory is like a dot, and, and with it creates a beautiful picture. And as time goes on, there become more dots. And as your life portrait flourishes with a multitude of colors, so too does it with more connections to yourself, your faith, your families, and your friends. So six years ago, I introduced myself to you with a box of donuts, and now we celebrate your bat mitzvah. Um, sharing this wonderful moment in time with friends, family, together as one, I'm hurrying real quick. Um, at least without TikTok for now, because Rabbi said to put the phones away. <laughs> All right, so Sophia, I'm really proud of the person that you've become in the direction in which you're, you're heading. Um, your work ethic, your individuality, it's going to take you to places that only your dreams can like fathom. Um, and there's no doubt that whatever path you take in life, you're going to succeed and become extremely successful. So real quick, going back real quick. So to revisit the question that Rabbi Fish posed the other night, you know, do, do I believe in God? You know, that night I was like, yeah, maybe, you know, depends on the day. But honestly, I, I've always been skeptical, you know, but after, you know, today and after having more time to think it over, I say, yeah, I do. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Yes, I do believe in God. Because uh, if there was no God, I wouldn't have been led to, you know, Yusufia and Danielle and Victoria and the rest of the family. Um, congrats again on this amazing accomplishment. I got it. <laughs> congrats again. I'm really proud of you. Mom and I, Victoria, even Crawford's proud of you. <laughs> and, um, you know, thanks to Gabby, Rabbi Fish, everybody here at the temple, everybody, everybody who's helped you, Sophia, with this unbelievable achievement. Um, we're really proud of you. So congratulations. Okay, now I'm done. <laughs> We're going to take a moment. Up here? Up there. Here? Yeah, we'll do it here. Great. We're going to take a moment right here. We want to give you a special blessing. Uh, as we honor you uh, in this moment. This is the oldest blessing of our people, of our faith, of our traditions. And with the help of Andrew Siegel, uh, we bless you with these words. Put your arms around yourself. Yivar rechecha Adonai ve'yishmerecha Ken yihiratzon, may God bless you and keep you. Yair Adonai May God's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Can you hear that song? May you continue to build upon the traditions and legacies of your family. May you continue to walk the path of Torah, of our people and our ancestors, and may you be blessed with shalom, the greatest bracha of all, of peace. And we all say, Amen, Amen. and Mazel Tov! turn to say a few words to you and I'm gonna make it very short I am very proud of you not only of everything that you learned so beautifully in just a few months 
but also every single time I've seen you in class, you participate, you are enthusiastic, you bring your light, your smile into everything that you do. And we all enjoy having you as a student, not only to teach you, but to learn from you as well. So my challenge to you is to continue being who you are and to keep learning because this is not the end. This is just the beginning of your Jewish journey as an adult. And we can't wait to see what the future holds for you. So hopefully you can read Torah again in the future with us and you can lead prayers with us. And honestly, we are all here for you at every step. I love you. And now we continue with our service. You can put away the Torah. If you have two books on, you want the smaller of the two. You want the Mishkan Tefillah, the one we've been praying out of. You can put your, uh, your Chumash away, the Torah, uh, back underneath your seats. As we call up to return the Torah to the Ark, some more special friends. Catherine and Carlos Corral, Terrence Davis, Richard and Sherry Guisto, and Catherine Shukot. Please rise as we take the Torah and return it to the ark. We continue with these words found on page, page number? We'll call a page out. Yahalaluet Shem Adonai, Kinisgav Shemo Levado, Podol Aleheret Vishamayim, Vayarem Keret Leamo, Tehila Lechol Hasidav, Livne Yisrael Am Kerovo, The Shelo asanu kingo yeha ratzot Velo samanu kemish pachot adama Shelo samchel kenu kahem Vekohor aleinu kechol hamonam Vanamnu korim umishach On page 598, we, we speak words during times of happiness from our heart. And when we celebrate moments 
that bring family and friends and community together, we also remember those who we wish could have been here to have seen this beautiful moment unfold with Sophia leading us in prayer and in Torah. And so on this Shabbat, we remember and reflect on the lives of Jimmy Gonzalez, Crispina Gonzalez, Roberta Gro, Joan Ray Lieberman, Liebman Rubinstein, Zichrona Livracha. And we say the words of Kaddish Yatom together on page 598. Yitkadal v'yitkadash shamei Raba, Amen. Be'alma divrach irutei v'yalmich machutei. B'chayachon uv'yomechon uv'chayei d'chol b'yit Yisrael. B'agalau v'zman kari v'imru, Amen. Yehei shmei Raba mevarach le'olam ulamei almaya. Yitbarach v'yishtabach v'yitpa'ar v'yitromam v'yitnase. V'yitadar v'yitalei v'yitalal shamei d'kudusha barichu. Leola minko birchata veshirata, tush bechata venechemata, damiran beama veimru, amen. Yehe shlamma rabba min shemaya vechaim, malenu veakol Yisrael veimru, amen. O se shalom bimromav, hu ya ase shalom, alenu veakol Yisrael veimru, amen. O se shalom bimromav, Shalom Aleinu, they are the Koho Yisrael. Vimru, Imru, Amen. Yahas Shalom, Yahas Shalom, Shalom Aleinu, they are called Yisrael. Yahas Shalom, Yahas Shalom, Shalom Aleinu, they are called Yisrael. Please be seated. We have one last moment of blessings in the form of Hodua, which is a moment of thanks. Thank you, Mom, for always being there for me. You always make sure I do my best and push me to go further. You are always supporting me and showing up to my important events. Thank you for feeding me every day and making sure I stay healthy. Thank you for everything. Thank you, Dad, for always making me laugh. If I am ever having a bad day, you always know how to cheer me up. Thank you for helping me with my Bat Mitzvah project. I could not have done it without you. Thank you for caring so much about me and making me smile. Thank you for all you do. Thank you, Victoria, for being my best friend. Even though we may fight a lot, I still love being around you. You always take my side when mom and dad are being annoying. Thank you for always helping me with my outfits and telling me the truth about things. Thank you for being my sister. Thank you, Rabbi Fish, for helping me be prepared for today. You have made me feel so much more confident in my Hebrew and speech. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Gabby, for teaching me all my prayers. I did not know anything before working with you. Thank you for all your help. And thank you, Cancer, Siegel, and Jenny. And now, to conclude out, to conclude out this moment of celebration, we say goodbye to Shabbat and we welcome in this beautiful week. Uh, I'd like to invite up your family to come gather around our Havdalah table so we can make Havdalah and Hamotzi. He <laughs> Adonai Tzavaot, Ashrei Adam Boteach Bach, Adonai Hoshia, HaMelech Yanir V'yom Kod Reinu. La Yehudim Hayetah Ora, 
party time. Mazel tov. Give everyone a big mazel tov. Clap your hands together for the I forgot that we were so excited about the party, we forgot the hamotzi. That's my fault. And there are three chalot, each with 613 sprinkles on each challah representing the mitzvahs that you are going to accomplish in the next year ahead. And with that, uncover the challahs as we sing one beautiful, loud hamotzi. Ready? Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, hamotzi lechem in haaretz, v'tei avon. Shavu atov, v'tei avon, take some challah. Rip into it, rip into it.